Hello guys, what's up? What's going on? It's good to see you. How are you doing? Tell me in the comments. What are you doing on your journey? Let's uh, talk about it, I don't know. Holly's over there. Maybe you can see him. Oi! He's so cute, I can't even stand it. Oh! All right, so, I'm going to post this on both of my channels because it's worth it to share, because it's exciting. Um, I have a new book coming out, and it's a really important book uh, for me, and I think that it's an important book for people of our planet right now. Um, so the book is called Befriending Shadows, and it's a poetry collection. And so those of you who are on Adventures Across, which is my original YouTube channel, I have kind of been going through this thing and sharing it kind of publicly of I don't know, um, I went somewhere with Adventures Across that was like going down a rabbit hole and I realized that it was not good for me and it wasn't good for the people that I shared um, my content with and I had to really stop doing all YouTube videos had to stop sharing so openly about everything that I was doing and I kind of had a breakdown. So during my breakdown, which lasted maybe like, it was kind of a long time that this was going on, maybe two years, I wrote a ton of poetry to sort of process what was going on and to help me find like balance again. Pretty much everybody that's here on Adventures Across has all the subscribers that are here came during that time that I was really into this stuff. And when I say this stuff, I mean spirituality, um, new age, like the ascension culture stuff. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's okay. You don't have to know. Um, I just want to sort of explain this book a little bit because otherwise it doesn't make sense. So pretty much I went into this black hole <laughs> and then I realized that this was no good for me and it kind of screwed up my life like a lot. So this book that I wrote, Befriending Shadows, is a collection of this poetry I wrote while I was coming out of the rabbit hole and helping myself like come back to a normal life and it's it might sound extreme to say but to be really honest and frank here it was like I was in a cult pretty much and maybe other people can relate to this where you get really deep into this spirituality stuff and then it takes over your life and then you don't see the world like normally anymore and I don't say normally in a sense of like everybody should see it the same way but I couldn't function like how you need to function in a world in the world right I shared on adventures across sort of the unraveling of this whole thing and just uh i all the videos that i posted are gone i took them off and i deleted even like the computer files i had of them because i just i had to get it out of my life it was so toxic for me and whew, it's just kind of heavy this is like a major like mental health thing you know um so basically I was kind of public about 
what happened and this unraveling last fall I posted a series of videos on Adventures Across saying um, I'm not new age anymore or something and there was like four parts so I posted them all and kind of explaining things and I was kind of frantic I ended up taking them down because I just like I just I straight up just needed all um, everything about this to just kind of go away for a little bit but now I'm finishing this book befriending shadows and it's kind of like the so like the subtitle I made up for it is a poetical journey through the dark woods of the internet toxic spirituality and the shadow self so that kind of sums up what the book is about and befriending shadows is four parts the first part is called the crisis the second part is called into the dark woods the third part's called befriending shadows and the fourth part is called together out of the woods so there's different poems that fit into each section and it's it's straight up like there's this call to go for like the character <laughs> i guess in the story the shadow person there's this call for um shadow person's calling the protagonist into the woods so protagonist gets the call hears the crisis right here's the cries and goes into the dark woods and there's all of these there's all of these like shadows around and each shadow could be like a different poem sorry if there's breeze or wind interference on this video I don't know where my mic is I have a, sor a sort of uh, synopsis here that I can read to you of this book and what, what it's about <laughs> when the wind stops I'll ca carry on right so this book has it's 178 pages of poems there's so many <laughs> there's so many poems in this book um, I have a note like a few notes about it and what this book is about pretty much what I was just telling you um, I suppose that well I'll get to that later I'll read you guys the first poem which is kind of like the call into the forest it's called the art of befriending shadows I asked for creativity the muses they brought me in front of my worst enemy evil she rattled in the cage I kept her in I wanted to be the best to everyone inside she ate at my skin I asked my creativity for a way out of this the way out is through you know what you must do and shook the cage to get her rattling thoughts she cried constantly in my mind not knowing who my opponent is a war against myself the enemy unknown what i didn't know together we are whole this isn't what i want to do right now my destiny a bright light awaits me Raging emotions inside did stir from traumas new and old, unable to heal and be heard. All I need to do is give her a voice and let her choose. There's a way to get along. Poetry poured from my fountain tip pen again and again, unwinding my terrorized mind, clear seeing once blind. As I let her out of the cage, more and more rage came along her path, once calmed and relaxed my she's not that bad the merging has begun as she spoke more and more an enemy she became not but a sister sinister things happened to her fiery volcano became her name 
The more power I gave her, the more empowered I felt, and years and years of guilt unlayered the grip around us, feeling trapped, dissolved at last. And now we have a book to tell our tale. So that's kind of like, that's just one of the poems. And I have, I have so many poems and they all have to do with the world of toxic spirituality because a lot of what my breakdown was about was the toxic spirituality and just, there's, um, Maybe some of you can relate, especially for those of you who are on Adventures Across here. Um, there's just like some parts of the spiritual community and some of the things that people project out. Um, some things that come to mind are victim blaming and gaslighting. Um, and it's especially so in the world of the law of attraction and like some of the things that Abraham, Abraham Hicks teaches. And it just, um, at first it didn't like register with me, like what it was until things in my life started to kind of go really bad. And then I s started to blame myself for it and started to be like, oh, well, my thoughts were not good. So that's why this happened. But there's just, um, some things that happen in our lives that are totally out of our control and even like some of the circumstances that we're born into um, we don't attract that because we have bad thoughts when we're like infants or you know what I mean so there's just, um, those are some of the things. And then I myself found myself in a cult, but I say that in a way that it's not as like, I wasn't in one of those cults that are showing up on Netflix. Um, and I have been telling people that it's like the most innocent kind of cult I could have possibly found myself in because it wasn't, um, it wasn't like, it wasn't extreme in a way that you hear about some of these cults that show up on the news or <laughs> have documentaries made up of them. But in the definition of a cult and after like researching cults, uh, I was in a cult. Um, and I got myself out of it. It's kind of gnarly. So some of the things that happened in that group are written in this book too. just some of the experiences I had. And then also dealing with social media and if I wasn't an artist, if I didn't write books, if I <laughs> didn't paint, if I didn't do any of that, I don't think I would be on social media. But since I do do those things, it's necessary to be on social media because I need to reach people and I am an indie artist author which makes it even more important that I'm on social media and I don't mind so much. I like being on YouTube, I love showing up here, but there's just such toxicity with it and it's kind of uh, challenging for me and my mental health to be here on social media. So there's also themes around that um, about like, for instance, comparing myself to other creators on the internet who are doing things that are pretty much almost identical to me and then I'm not uh, getting seen 
for what I'm doing. And I mean, obviously when you put yourself out there and you, and you feel like you're getting crickets, but you see someone else doing the same thing at like the same level of quality and they're getting like a million views, it makes you feel like shit, makes you feel inadequate. Um, and it's hard to not compare yourself. So I am really open about those feelings too in this book. So I'm gonna read you guys a little bit of my synopsis. And pretty much uh, the call to action of this video and what I am asking for from you, my lovely people. Okay. Befriending Shadows is a poetical journey through the dark woods of the internet, toxic spirituality, and the shadow self. I wrote this poetry collection while I experienced the dark side of the spirituality community and social media. It is my response to the internet spirituality movement and the internet <laughs> and to become friends with my shadow self. Walk through the dark woods of the internet and toxic spirituality to take the shadow self by the hand and bring her back to normalcy. This is a poetry collection of healing by being heard by the one person who needs to listen to the most, the most, <laughs> the self. This book is important to me because it was the voice inside me crying out that something was wrong in my world. I was caught in a web that was almost cult-like and I couldn't find my way out for years. Uh, it is filled with complex emotions and experiences while deeply involved with the spirituality New Age community. Writing this poetry helped me leave the community, return to my normal, and to rescue my shadow self from the dark woods we walked into. It is important for this book to get out into the hands of others who have gone through similar experiences with toxic spirituality, new age, woke culture, and being told that being yourself is wrong. This book is like a warning of what isn't right or normal in the spiritual community. I want to tell others that they're not alone and to listen to the part of them that is crying out to be heard. I have a list of triggers here um, because I think nowadays it's really important to list the things that could be potentially um, hurtful for somebody to read if they didn't consent to it. And since this book is really heavy, it's important to list these triggers. So those are mental health, emotional abuse, death, anxiety, cults, drugs, fear, gaslighting, pain, spiritual conflict, self-hate, shame, victim blaming. Um, and I'm listing as many things as I could think of off the top of my head right now, but if you are a person that happens to take the call to action here, then please let me know if there are more triggers that I should add to this list because um, I want to make sure that I cover them all. All right. So my call to action here is I am recruiting early reviewers to read this book and to e either email me feedback or um, leave a review on their website of choice. So these readers are called ARC readers. And they're called that, it's an acronym, it's Advanced Reader Copies. So what that means is as an ARC reader, you agree to read a digital copy of this book for free. The book is complete, but if there are like enough, uh, if there are certain things that need to be edited before I publish this book, they will get fixed. So, of course, if you have feedback or something, I would really like to hear it. Um, so the ARC reader gets to read this book early before it's published for free. So they'll get a digital copy. And then um, 
you leave a review before or right when the book is launched. And I have a while yet before I launch the book. I decided that I'm going to publish the book and launch it on October 13th. It's a Sunday. And then the ARC reviews are going to be due uh, September 30th or just, you know, plan to have it done by then. I will have the book page up on Goodreads probably <clears throat> pretty soon. So if you are an ARC reviewer, you can review the book before it's even published. But you have to disclose in your review that you read the book early and you were an ARC reviewer. Um, so I'm going to put it up on Goodreads and then on Amazon. I'm selling exclusively through Amazon for this book. I uh, really am not feeling the stress of going through Ingram Smart Spark. That is like a different story. If you want to know about that, please let me know and I will explain more about that later. Um, and then if you're a bookstagrammer or um, you have like a reader or an author account on Instagram and you want to share this kind of stuff there, I'm totally down for it. And if you are a bookstagrammer and you want me to mail you a physical copy of the book when it's ready, I can do that too. And then you can share pictures and stuff, but that's all up to you. Um, so what an ARC reviewer does is they will read the book and leave a, like a, a quality review. And this isn't paid. It is like a volunteer thing. Um, it's important that reviewers aren't paid because obviously that's kind of, um, there's, you know, there's kind of some sketchy stuff about that, right? Like I'm not going to pay somebody to leave me a review because it's kind of like bribing, right? This is all voluntary and has to come from the good of your heart. And like, this, there's no pressure, you know, do it if you would like. Um, but the point of this is, so when the book is launched, people that buy books can see what the book is about and who it's for based on people that have already read the book. And it's the reviewers that help other readers find the book. Um, and that's how indie authors are able to be indie authors is through the writing community and the reading community and finding people who want to help authors. So. That's my um, call to action for this video. If this is something that you think you'd be interested in or you're, I mean, you don't have to even make a big commitment. You can just fill out the form. I'll leave it down in the description. You fill out the form and then when I'm ready to send out the email with the document in it, um, I will send it to you. So from this video, you know that the deadline for finishing the book and having a review ready is September 30th and today is July 9th. I might post this on July 10th. Um, so there's plenty of time to read the book. You've got two and a half months and I can send out reminders um, or anything and right that's all I really have to say about this. I'm excited to get this book finished and to get it out into the world. Um, I'll show you guys like a cover of the picture somewhere on the screen so you can see. <sighs> this is the first time I'm doing things in like a very thorough way. So um, forgive me if there's a little, if there's any bugs in my process <laughs> or anything. I'm still figuring everything out, but this is exciting. This is my fifth self-published book and I'm definitely very proud of it. So anyway, 
I've talked long enough. If you have questions or comments um, or anything, or if there's something in this video that sparked some kind of like curiosity and you want me to make more videos, please let me know in the comments. You're always welcome to send me an email. Um, I don't know if I have my email posted on YouTube anywhere, <laughs> but for anybody that knows me, can send me an email. It's kind of... Oh, I sent an email out today to my email newsletter people. Um, so if you know that you have subscribed to my email newsletter in the past, then you could check your email and see... My email should be there. Um, my website is not live right now, so I can't use the email newsletter um, feature on my website to send you guys mail, so it comes right from my email account. So it is very plain and, you know, I promise you that it's me. It's not anyone else. This is, you know, whatever. So I would like to use my email newsletter more. And if, or my email list more. So if you want to be on my email list, send me an email. Um, I'll figure out a way to, sh I think that I might have my email in that Google form. If not, I'll put it there so you can see it. Um, Anyway, <sighs> all right guys, we're going to do this and can I get this book out into the world and help anybody that needs help or just like wants to know more about this topic or whatever, come into this world of crazy stuff. We live in a crazy world, guys. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to my spiel. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you in the next video. I'm not sure when that will be on Adventures Across. Um, we are leaving sometime in September and we'll be going to the Southwest. Um, but I'll totally be on my Astro Lately channel and doing something or other art related. But anyway, thank you for being here and we'll talk to you next time. All right, bye.